Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I want to say a big hello to all the new subscribers, thank you. And I want to say a big welcome to 2021. <whistles> Yoo-hoo! Let's take that old roaring 20s and get them out of here. So, Happy New Year everybody and hope everybody had a good Christmas and welcome to 2021. So, um, I'm still working on this Yamaha Enduro, you understand, but I'm waiting on a part. Um, the bracket that holds the tiller handle and throttle on, I had to order one. I found one on eBay, and uh, here's a tip for you guys. Now, when you're looking up them Yamaha parts and you can't find what you want, on eBay there. Type in Mariner outboards. For about four years there, three and a half years I guess it was, Yamaha produced Mariners. And the bracket that I ordered for this Yamaha Enduro is off of a Mariner 40. Couldn't find one under Yamaha. There was hundreds of Yamaha bracket parts and everything, but not the one I was looking for. So then I typed in Mariner, ba -doom, 63 bucks. So happy with that. It ought to be here in a day or so and I'll get back on this. Um, in the meantime, I've just been cleaning and priming and yum 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 and all that. Here's the power head. I've been moving along with it. It's looking pretty dirty. Yeah, she painted up pretty nice. Sorry about the zoom in. But yeah, she painted up pretty nice there. And uh, so I'm just waiting on that bracket. And then uh, I got the lower leg all washed and everything purple powered. But I still got to do a little painting and sanding and such on it. So I'll get that done here pretty soon. And uh, But I've been doing some other things. And you say like what? Well, I say... I just cleaned out my smoker. Top and bottom. Washed it all out. Well, you know what time it is when I wear this hat. This hat. It's Christmas in January 2021. Someone came bearing gifts. Let's look. There they are. It's a little Johnny Rude in chunks. Chunks of Johnny Rude. So, I've got the lower unit. I've got the upper half. A lot of good parts. I'll take it. Alright. 
Morning. Oh, it's about 9.30. Just stopped here at what they call the Dead Man's Curve Overlook. Gonna be a cloudy, kind of a rainy, misty day. But the water's nice and calm pretty good but the wind's supposed to pick up to 30 knots then it's supposed to start raining and blowing really hard with some mixed snow if you look in them clouds over there you can see the sheets of rain if you look right out there you can see it a coming on the horizon but it's still a pretty morning pretty morning in paradise yeah. There's the sleepy little town of Kodiak. Ain't much going on. The windmills. Most of them are milling. They got two of them look on shutdown, but most of them are flopping around. A little bit of snow dust on the Pillar Mountain. All right. Puffin Island out there. Well, there's your deadliest catch stuff. They're all rigged up. This is what you call a wheelhouse forward boat. And right in front of it is a it's called wheelhouse aft. I'll show you one of them too. There's some more of the bigger boats over there. Some more over here offloading. There's the pots they use. They'll take that big old crane there. Swing them bumpies right over on the boat like it ain't nothing. That's the Lady Alaska. Pretty boat. And they'll stack all them pots on there and go out and get that stuff. That's a smaller 
crab boat there so he won't go out as far but I just talked to those guys on the Lady Alaska and they are indeed heading for the Barren Sea you can see he's got a lot less pots on that boat than that big Lady Alaska but I talked to those guys and they said yep they're going out for the uh, Pelio uh, snow crab out to the Barren Sea so where these smaller boats like this get in trouble they get out there and get in that weather and then the sea spray and everything starts icing them pots up and they got to get out there with baseball bats and sticks and whatnot and break it all off and because it can cause them to roll over there's another fairly small one and you can see the pots are literally hanging off the side on that one at the outboard side you can see the pots hanging right off so they're heading for the Barren Sea because Red Lobster needs their crab legs
I told you they were predicting snow. Why do you think I got my little snow blower ready for the porch? Oh, Fred. Fred, the one-eyed, pissed-off weather porch frog told me it's snowing today. Look at that grimace. Oh, he pissed. And last night we had an earthquake right over here on the west side of the island. 4.8. Shook the house pretty good. Fred was worried. Was the alarms going to go off? Fred. All righty, all righty, all righty. All right, so we got this old carbonator here for the Yamaha 40 Enduro. And just looking at some of the, the screw heads and the corrosion on the screws, white powder, I know this one's going to be bad. I can already see, you know, white powder coming out of there and so she's gonna be rough if you look in there look at that butterfly flap you can and right here you can see all this white powder so she's gonna be real bad in there i got the screws out had to use the old van pliers to get them out uh, yummy think that's a little bit of white powder Jesus, look at that. Jesus, look at him. Look at here. Let me get something. It's a little darker in color so you can see. Move me van pliers. Put old dirty rag here. Sit in there. Yeah. Watch this. <laughs> what do you think? She would have started right up, right? Oh yeah, she's she's bad. But hey, I've seen worse, lots worse. So But this is not one that I'm just going to be able to spray a little bit of a uh, carb cleaner in and a little compressed air this one's gonna have to go for a soak and then a good long ride in the ultrasonic cleaner faux show yep Maybe my gasket popped off let me get a pick yeah she's old I'll corrode it in there. Look. Dang. Dang. It's funny though, the little e clip ain't all rusty. So I'm trying to get it with the van players and get it out. Dun -dun. Why not be might not be enough in there to get out. <laughs> Boy. I'm going to go over and hit this area right here with my soft wire wheel. Be right back. Be right back. Look where I can see. Went over, clean that area right there up a little bit so I can see where I need to tap that out of there. If I can tap that out of there. She's pretty bad, you know. I've got a nail. See if I can get something. If I can't even get my big old fat fainters in there. Yeah. 
Yeah, she bad. She bad, you know. She real bad. Can do it with these gloves. Barely can do it. It's all. Ow! I hit my already smashed up finger. It ain't budging. It ain't even budging for the commodity. Mm. <laughs> now let's take this long guy. Put my band pliers there. Maybe I can. Can't even tell where the pin is in this thing. It's so corroded. I'm gonna see if I can clean it up a little more. Looks like it's right in that area somewhere. Hate tapping on my. Well, well. She is one salty, 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 salty carbonators. Nah. Gonna have to advise some kind of plan here. Okay, what I did was I got these small needle nose vice grips and was able to grab it, twist, 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 twist. And the reason why I couldn't see it on this other side is it don't go all the way through. It just sits in that piece right there so it don't go all the way through it just goes in there a little bit you understand so we got it out it's the good news now let's see if we can get the needle and oh yeah well there's the float okay and there's what's left of the needle and seat. You can see, not a whole lot. <laughs> so, I think I see what's left of the float too, sitting down in there. Yeah, there's the top half of the float right there. The little E clip and the little tang. That'd be it. Put it there. And what size is it? Uh, I don't even know. Eight millimeter. Mm -hmm. She's gonna come out. She's gonna come out, man. Man, she's gonna come out. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. There's what's left of it. Mm -hmm. now, now, will these guys come out? I mean, I could just jump on them with the van pliers, but I'd rather just see. They weren't that bad. Not that bad. A lot of white crinkle in there. But there's jet one. Let's see about this other guy over now. There you go. Again, not that bad for what for as bad as this thing looks. Things are coming out pretty good. I get this gasket off. We clean that up and re-lube it. We put it right in the ultrasonic cleaner with it for a bit, all these gaskets. Man, look how that's all smashed and boogered up there. Hope it don't leak. All I know one thing, 
It's plug. Not now. <laughs> I got her unplugged. Whew. A lot of white powder. So the first thing I'm going to have to do with this is just a good clean. And when I mean clean, I'm talking hot soap and water. And get as much of this white salt particulate and corrosion that I can out of it. Just clean it really good. And, uh, my hot soapy water. Get my gaskets all cleaned up. They, they actually look reusable. Um, yeah. Okay, I just got some plain old simple green and hot water here. And some different wire brushes. And I'm just going to scrub this around a little bit. Let it soak in this hot water for a while. Get as much of this white garbage out of here as I can. It's just good old shopey shopey in water. And uh get it all cleaned up. And before I put it in the uh ultrasonic cleaner out once I get as much of this out as I can I'll uh take it over to my wire wheel on my bench grinder, I have a coarse one over there and a fine wire wheel. And I'll hit it with the fine wire wheel and clean this surface up as much as I can. Okay. But I'm going to let her soak for a little while before I put her in the uh, ultrasonic cleaner. I'm going to let it soak in this soapy water for a bit. She'll clean up. And this water is good and hot. Okay, let's get these gaskets rinsed off. This one's got a little tear on the ear. I'll just put a little dab of RTV black on them. They'll be fine. Okay. And uh, after the ultrasonic cleaner, then I'll use the spray carb and compressed air and all that. But we'll get the jets, we'll get every bit of it through the ultrasonic cleaner. My jets, so down all the nuts and bolts going in there too. The float, let's rinse that off, get it nice and clean, put it over here. Put the screw, the other gasket, get it all clean. Pretty. And pretty. Good and clean. Okay, there's my gaskets, my floats, all that's good and clean. Now, I'm just going to let that soak um, for a couple hours, scrub it some more with a brush. Then I'll take it over to my wire wheel right over there. And I'll hit it with the fine wire wheel, the body inside and out. Get it as good as I can. And, uh, that's where where we're going with this so it's pretty bad then I'll have to go out and get a needle and see I'm sure I'll have one Ugh. okay so we've got the carburetor going Got the power head all cleaned and painted up. Um, I'll get this carburetor done. We got to have it. I'm still waiting on the transom bracket clamp. Um, and I'm waiting for a little bit better day. It's supposed to be nice tomorrow, I believe. And I'll take the lower leg in the cow pan and all out and paint it and get it in. I already washed it, cleaned it. You can see it in the video. And, uh, I've also got my, whoops, sorry about that, got my brackets all painted up and ready, waiting for the new clamp. So, we are motoring right along. And, uh, 
So, carburetor will get it all squared away and clean, and I'll film some more of that in the next video. The lower leg cowling pan and all will get that squared away, painted up pretty, power heads good to go, all cleaned up, painted, upper bracket transom clamps all painted up, good to go. Uh, still got a few other parts that I'll need to clean up and everything, but uh, transom bracket ought to be here tomorrow or Tuesday at the latest, they said. So, that's what I'm waiting on. Do some soaking and some stroking and get it going and uh, that's going to be a wrap on this one. Happy New Year, everybody. Stay safe. I'll see you in the next video. That's one more hack from Kodiak. Thanks for watching. Please share and subscribe to Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.